Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm Tom Dindy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church. And I welcome you to this edition of Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers, hosted right here in the Rainbow Ballroom, located in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. These Tuesday Vespers are hosted by Celebration Presbyterian Church, located in the heart of the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And we invite you to come be a part of us. We're at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Our property is just adjacent to the community center and library properties. Well, we continue our Lenten journey right up into Holy Week. And um, this is our 2024 Holy Week celebration here on Tuesday evening, Virtual Vespers. And our theme is, Blessed is He Who Comes in the Name of the Lord. We kicked off Holy Week yes, uh, Sunday morning uh, with Palm Sunday emphasis and heard the crowds shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So we carry that theme forward tonight. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Bruce. Welcome. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. Looking for Carol Mitchell to jump in here anytime now. I feel certain she's going to join us. Well, as we're waiting, share a song by Melody Green called There is a Redeemer. There is a Redeemer, Jesus God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, hope for Welcome, Linda Berry. We're bound to pray as our evening prayer rises before you, O God. So may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son and our Savior. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence with us, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever and ever. Amen. Well, welcome back to this Holy Week edition of Tuesday Evening Virtual Vespers. And Linda Henderson, good to see you in the Rainbow Ballroom. Happy Holy Week to you. I'm going to pause just a second and adjust my camera slightly. Trying to eliminate that glare overhead there. This next song is uh, old one, The Old Rugged Cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Oh, the old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction to me. For the dear Lamb of God left His glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. And I'll cherish the old rugged home till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. In the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For it was on that old cross Jesus suffered and died To pardon and sanctify me So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. To the old rugged cross I will ever be true, its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he'll call me someday 
to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share and I'll cherish the old rugged fall till my trophies at last I lay down I will claim to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a Well, friends, we're kind of moving along in our Lenten journey, and we're drawing closer and closer to the end, and the end of our journey is at the foot of the cross. We've talked about Lent as a time of taking spiritual inventory. For some, that means giving up things, bad attitudes, bad habits, toxic relationships, or other things that are hindering your corporate or personal relationships with God or with God's people. Lent also invites us to reorganize or reorder our lives through new attitudes, habits, disciplines of the Christian faith that we can add in to our daily or weekly pattern of corporate worship or personal worship. Our times alone with God, those also can be part of this Lenten uh, addition how you doing so far? This next Holy Week song or song that makes me think of Holy Week by Isaac Watts and Lowell Mason is When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died my richest gain I count but lost and Thank you. 
demands my soul, my life, my all. The older I get, the more I ponder the cross, the more humbled I am. Um, I am gobsmacked at what God has done for us all in Jesus Christ to know that he would give Christ in exchange for us. Our scripture tonight speaks to the steadfast love of the Lord who has become our salvation. Listen now and hear the word of God. Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and then verses 19 to 29. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say his steadfast love endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. Thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and he has given us light. Bind the festal processions with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God. I will extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This next song drops back many, many years, written by Robert Lowry, Nothing But the Blood. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my pardon this I see, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing this my plea, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not of good that I have done, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood but Jesus. And I pair that with another oldie but goodie by Elisha Albright Hoffman. Are you washed in the blood? Mm -hmm. 
Have you been to Jesus for cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you trusting fully in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the blood? Are His soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by your Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment on the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, are you washed in the blood, in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow, are they washed in the blood of the Lamb? When the bridegroom cometh, will his robes be white, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion's bride? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you gone mid spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, are you washed in the blood, in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? This week we focus on the passion of Christ and his willingness to shed his blood for our salvation. Welcome, Betty Bryson. Good to have you in the Rainbow Ballroom tonight for Vespers. Well, you know, week after week, pastors are trying to help people connect with Jesus in worship. It's our goal to try to connect God's story and your story in the midst of our time of worship so that you see the connection and so that you come to live and appreciate the connection. Tonight, we reinforce the word of God's steadfast love that has been revealed to us fully in Jesus Christ. We've come to know him as Savior and Lord, Lord of life. Um, on Palm Sunday, we were confronted with the fact that he rode into Jerusalem with a crowd that was shouting his blessings. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They were preparing the way by putting their garments down and putting palm branches before him. And uh, they were blessing him. They were preparing the way. And he was the same one who would be lifted up on a cross and that same crowd would be changing their tune and shouting at the top of their lungs, crucify him and gladly for our sake in love he would go for the salvation of the world for you and for me holy week that began on palm sunday reminds us that jesus out of steadfast love for god and humanity was willing to live a life and to die a painful death to be buried in a borrowed tomb for three days to be raised by God to new life and transformed through overcoming of death, transformed into everlasting life as King of kings and Lord of lords. He's the stone that the builders rejected, and yet by the hands of God, he has become the very cornerstone of God's kingdom. Scripture tells us that he's the very fullness of God's amazing love. And through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we all have hope and promise. So we are called to rejoice and be glad. <clears throat> this next song by Stuart Townen 
is called How Deep the Father's Love for Us. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure. How great the pain of searing loss the Father turned his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed I hear my mocking voice called out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there Until it was accomplished His dying breath has brought me light I know that it is finished I will not boast in anything, no gifts, no power, no wisdom, but I will boast in Jesus Christ, His death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Yes, this I know with all deep the Father's love for us. Well, I have an affirmation of faith for this final stretch of our Lenten journey. It comes to us from the Iona community off the coast of Scotland. And they say, we believe that God is present in the darkness before dawn, in the waiting and uncertainty where fear and courage join hands, conflict and caring link arms, and the sun rises over barbed wire. We believe in a with us God who sits down in our midst to share our humanity. We affirm a faith that takes us beyond the safe place into action, into vulnerability, and into the streets. We commit ourselves to work for change and put our lives on the line to bear responsibility, to take risks, to live powerfully and face humiliation, to stand with those on the edge, to choose life and to be used by the Spirit for God's new community of hope. Hallelujah. Christ, our Redeemer. This next one credited to John Wesley Work Jr. and Frederick Work in an African-American spiritual arrangement. Were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were 
you there when they crucify my Lord? Oh, 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 sometimes it causes me to tremble. friends. Hello, Cousin Julie in the house, sending love your way, and to Jim as well. We've talked about how Lent is a season of penitence, a time to dig in deep and unearth our sins and confess them, lament about them, be overwhelmed then by God's response of love and grace and forgiveness. And Jesus leads us through these seasons of lament into the joy of Easter, the day uh, where God restores our joy. And it's enough to turn our mourning into dancing. Friends, we're nearing the end of our Lenten journey. A reminder or two, uh, there'll be no Tuesday Vespers next week. Just gonna take a little time out and meditate on Easter and the goodness of that. We invite you to a Red Cross blood drive at Celebration Presbyterian Church. It's gonna be Thursday, April 4th from two to 6 p.m. And that's at Celebration Church. It's open to the public. We will provide some really good food snacks for you. So come out, support the blood drive and enjoy some tasty soup. Our Easter worship this Sunday is at 11 a.m. We invite you to come be with us in person. If you can't be, we offer YouTube and Facebook live stream. But we encourage you to come be with us. We've planned special coffee fellowship from 1015 to 1155. So come enjoy some good coffee fellowship ahead of worship and then enjoy our Easter worship our Holy Week service this coming Thursday, Maundy Thursday, is at 7 p.m. We'll have the Passion Scriptures, prayers, meditation, congregational hymns, choir selections, and we'll celebrate Holy Communion by intinction. That means rip and dip in the cup. So watch for our, our weekly email updates. We send those out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
If you're not on our email list and would like to be, uh, the Tuesday email tells you the things going on in the life of our church. Thursday gives you everything you need to know for Sunday's worship in case you're worshiping remotely. Um, if you'd like to be a part of that, phone 843-903-0308 and share your email address with Irma Stackhouse. She'll add you to our email list. Or you can simply email us and make the request. Our email is celebrationpresbyterianmb at gmail.com. All run together, lowercase, no spaces. Celebration Presbyterian MB at gmail.com. If you'd like to support this ministry beyond just your participation with a one time gift or a recurring gift, you can do that on our website. It's at Celebration Presbyterian Church dot org. All run together. Celebration Presbyterian Church dot org. You'll find there a Donate Now link, and it will allow you to uh, make a secure online gift if you'd like to. I say thank you in advance for all your gifts and for your regular participation in Tuesday Evening Vespers. Now I offer us a prayer for trust, a Lenten prayer of trust. Deliver me, Jesus, from the belief that I have to earn your love from the fear that I'm unlovable, from the false security that I have what it takes, from the fear that trusting you will leave me more destitute, from all suspicion of your words and promises, from the rebellion against childlike dependency on you, from refusals and reluctances in accepting your will, from anxiety about the future, from resentment or excessive preoccupation with the past, from restless self-seeking in the present moment, from disbelief in your love and presence, from the fear of being asked to give more than I have to give, from the belief that my life has no meaning or worth, and from the fear of what love demands, from discouragement, Jesus, I trust in you. I trust that you are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me, that your love goes deeper than my sins and my failings and it transforms me, and that not knowing what tomorrow brings is an invitation to lean on you and to trust you more, that you are with me in my suffering and that my suffering united to your own will bear fruit in this life and in the next, and that you will not leave me an orphan, that you're present in your church, and that your plan is better than anything else we can come up with, that you always hear me, and that your goodness always responds to me, that you give me the grace to accept forgiveness and to forgive others, and that you give me all the strength I need for what I'm facing. That is my life, that my life is a gift and that you will teach me to trust you even more, that you are my Lord and my God and that I am your beloved child and nothing in heaven or earth is gonna change that. Amen. Amen. This next song, <clears throat> comes out of the Elevation Worship music team called Oh Come to the Altar. Are you hurting and broken within, overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling Oh, come to the altar 
the Father's arms are open wide, forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness it was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, what a Savior! Isn't he wonderful? Sing Alleluia, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing Alleluia. Christ is risen. Bear your cross as you wait for the crown. Tell the world of the treasure you found. Come to the altar. Well, again, let's bow and pray. Loving God, may our Lenten observance prepare us to embrace the Paschal mystery of this Holy Week and to proclaim your salvation with joyful praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Well, friends, I want to charge you and thank you first for coming out and charge you to keep doing the best you can and being the best you can day by day throughout 2024. We're praying for a better world as we move forward in a healthier way, working for justice and peace, praying for peace in the Middle East and in Russia and Ukraine. Hear this benediction from Jude 24 and 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Well, again, I want to thank you for joining me for this Holy Week, Passion Week themed gathering where we've said, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We know him to be Jesus Christ. And that's been based around Psalm 118. Um, I invite you again to join us for Easter worship 
And for our Maundy Thursday service, it is at 7 o'clock at the church. Uh, it's about an hour long. We invite you to come be a part of that very somber um, and sad celebration. Um, then we invite you back on Easter to come celebrate the resurrection and to live into the hope that is ours as God's people who have been raised and redeemed in Christ. Well, I want to say on behalf of Celebration Presbyterian Church that we enjoy bringing you this outreach of ministry and we want you to know that God loves you and so do we. And I'm going to leave you with a couple more couple more songs. This is At the Cross, also Isaac Watts, Ralph Hudson. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for sinners such as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Was it for crimes that I have done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. Well, might the sun in darkness hide and shut his glories in? When Christ the mighty Maker died, for man the creature's sin. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Thus might I hide my blushing face While Calvary's cross appeared Dissolve my heart in thankfulness And melt mine eyes to tears But drops of grief can never repay Here, Lord, I give myself away. Tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there my faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Yes, now I am happy all the day. This uh, song is called Graves into Gardens. It's also out of the Elevation Worship Team's music that they've written. Brandon Lake, Chris Brown, Stephen Furtick, Tiffany Hammer. And it goes something like this.
while I search the world But it couldn't fill me A man's empty praise Treasures that fade Never unknown Then you came along Put me back together Every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you know. There's nothing better than you. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. I'm not afraid To show you my weakness My failures and flaws Lord, you've seen them all And you still call me friend Cause the God of the mountain Is the God of the valley there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again. Oh, there's nothing better than you know. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than you. Turn morning to dancing You give beauty for ashes You turn shame into glory You're the only one who can You turn morning to dancing You give beauty for ashes Turn shame into glory You're the only one who can Oh, there's nothing Better than you know There's nothing Better than you, Lord There's nothing Nothing is better than you turn graves into gardens You turn bones into armies You turn seas into highways You're the only one who can You're the only one who can Oh, there's nothing Better than you know there's nothing Better than you, Lord, there's nothing Nothing is better than you Well, I want to leave you with one final song. And uh, <clears throat> it's a blood song, and I'll send this out as a dedication to my dad and all those of you that might be recovering Baptist out there, because y'all know there's power in the blood. Please join and sing, sing with me now. Well, would you be free from your burden to sin? 
There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. Oh, there's power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Well, would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's side. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there's power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Well, would much wider than snow there's power in the blood power in the blood sin stains are lost in this life giving flow there's wonderful power in the blood everybody well there's power power wonder working power in the blood of the land oh there's power in power in the precious blood of the Lamb. One more time. Oh, there's power, power, wonder work in power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there's power, power, wonder work in power in the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. In the precious blood of the Lamb. Well, folks, I hope you have a blessed Holy Week. Hope to see some of you Thursday night for our Monday Thursday service, which is at 7 p.m. And love to see you Easter morning, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for worship at 11 a.m. at Celebration Presbyterian Church located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard. Our property is adjacent to the uh, community center, and we'd love to have you come join us for worship on Easter Sunday. God bless you. In the meantime, take care.